When Jaden Williams entered the halls of Sandwood High School four years ago, he did so with an ambitious temperament and an insatiable hunger to achieve excellence. He was determined to take in all that this institution had to offer. It meant that there were sacrifices that had to be made and that he had to demonstrate an unmeasurable perseverance, even in the face of adversity and challenges. He was motivated by knowing that if he wasn't working to the best of his ability, there would be others working harder than he was. And thus he continued to demand of himself to do better and to be better. He's been described by his peers as a humble giant, continually striving for excellence while always being rooted in his modesty. I remember saying like, hey, like I'm having a bad day. I really like, I don't feel like doing this because he could, he could like tell that something was up and I wasn't like giving a hundred percent. And I remember him saying like that not every day does he feel like doing all the things he has to do. Being disciplined is something that separates like the good from the great. And he told me, um, just know that whenever I'm slacking, he's always working. And so we kind of started a little thing where anytime one of us would be like doing extra work on the field or in the gym, we would call one another and we'd remind each other and like kind of encourage the other person to like get up and go do something. So like we kind of started like a friendly competition. And I think that shows how he's very encouraging and motivating and he like, he brings others up around him and he kind of showed me what it means to be a leader. He struck a delicate balance between his ambition and his commitment to authentic relationships and his unwavering faith. He realizes being a leader isn't just a title or having authority, but rather it's about showing up. It's about demonstrating tenacity and grit, even when one is struggling with their own circumstances. It's about being unapologetically authentic, no matter the audience. And most importantly, it's about demonstrating humanity to all those you encounter. Jaden is essentially all of those tenets of leadership. Though he could have cowered when he was summoned to lead, he chose to put others' needs before his own. A perfect example of this was when he sustained a rather major injury this winter. Instead of disappearing from the rugby pitch to nurse his injury, Jaden, as captain, stood through the cold and the howling winds to coach and mentor the younger players. He reminds us through his daily actions that we are worthy. Why? because he shows up. Galatians states, serve one another in love. Jaden lives every day emulating God's love for us. In the sacred tapestry of brotherhood, Jaden's love knows no bounds. He serves his peers with unwavering devotion, offering both hope and constructive challenge. He embraces his brothers no matter where they are on their journey and willingly walks by their side. In doing so, he extends not only his hand, but also his heart. We spend a lot of time at St. Ed's um, trying to lift each other up and we have all these aspirational goals. And, and Jaden is such an inspiration to me because he, I know how much effort goes into living the way he lives, but he makes it seem so effortless. He does all of it with this huge heart and sense of humor and sense of fun. And he's such a, a role model and he's been a role model to me for the four years that he's been at St. Ed's. What humbles those of us who have bore witness to these acts of kindness is his remarkable demonstration of empathy and compassion as he provides hope to those who seek his counsel. Well, obviously, Jay was like a brother to me. Um, We really got close when we both decided to uh, be a part of the IB diploma program. And from that, I would say my biggest takeaway from Jay Will and our relationship is accountability. Sometimes you just need a friend or a brother that will always just tell you when either you're slacking or you're doing good, just give you that, be that person to always be in your ear to just keep you focused and keep a strong mindset throughout whatever you're going through. At the heart of Jaden's journey as an Edsman lies a deep and abiding faith, a faith that transcends words and finds expressions in the quiet moments of communication with God. Those of us that have had Jaden have heard his three o'clock alarm right at the end of the day. It wasn't until just recently that I learned that that alarm was set to remind Jaden every day to take time from the demands of the school day and to sit quietly in the presence of God in our chapel. What a beautiful image, a young man who is willing to quell the noise around him and to sit quietly in prayer and give thanks. Jaden stands firm in his unwavering faith and projects the beautiful relationship he has with God with an audience of thousands of viewers. 
How's y'all day going today, man? It's finna get a little bit better with this word. Today we're in John chapter 9, verse 3, and it states, Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's works might be revealed in him. And as many of you who know me personally know, um, I just had a rugby tournament this weekend and I actually just broke my foot. And I was coming back and I was upset that my foot was broke because I'm going to be out for at least four weeks, senior season, you know, very disappointed um, about missing out. And I come back home. It's the end of the night. I read my Bible every night, every night I read my Bible. And I just was not feeling it today. I was not going to read it at all. And then I just felt something like, you know what? I'll just read like one passage. And this was the one passage that I ended up reading. And it's crazy how when I just needed God to speak to me, he like instantly spoke to me. He challenges us not to miss those sacramental moments right before us and to be where our feet are and to be present in the moment we are in right now. I know that he sowed seeds into our freshmen that will continue to walk with them, that will continue to blossom for their four years. And the powerful thing about that is that as they grow and they pour into the next class and the next class is still the impact that Jaden had from that particular freshman retreat that could really go on through um, St. Ed's forever. Jaden, in a world that seems to be marked by division and strife, you have shown us the power of empathy, compassion, and understanding. I will never coach another Jaden Williams because he's a, a one of a kind kind of lad. Um, and he's got all the potential characteristics, um, the drive um, and, and discipline. Um, and he is the type of guy uh, that can change the world. You have taught us to love more deeply and to cherish the beauty and the gift God has bestowed upon us. And finally, you